Welcome to another Watch Me Wholesale episode. The way this works is I'm gonna randomly choose a market, then I'm gonna find a distressed property for sale, I'm gonna analyze it and crunch the numbers, and then call and make an offer. All that and more, coming up. This video is brought to you by 10K Club, a program that pays you $10,000 for finding ugly houses. Learn more at my10kcheck.com. If you're new here, I'm Jerry Norton, and I went from dead broke to millionaire flipping houses, and after doing 1,000 deals, I created this channel to help you master the art of wholesaling and flipping so you can live your dream life. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified when new videos are released. Okay, so I've got up on my screen right now a picker wheel, and we have 10 random markets chosen. I'm gonna go ahead and click the spin button, and we're gonna pick a market. Okay, Grand Rapids, Michigan is the winner. Let's go find a deal. Okay, so now it's time to find a deal. I'm gonna go into Zillow on this episode. Uh, sometimes I'll use Redfin. I really like Redfin. It has a, uh, a fixer upper category so that you can, it'll, it'll instantly find distressed properties for you. Zillow doesn't have that feature, so we have to kind of manually do it, and I'll show you how we do that. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go to Grand Rapids, Michigan and it's gonna pull up this map here and you can see the greater Grand Rapids area. And then I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna say that I just wanna see homes. So we're not gonna look at anything else, townhouses or anything else. And then I'm gonna go over here to the more tab and let's go ahead and put some keywords in here. Now there's a bunch of different keywords. I actually created a master list, I think with a couple hundred different keyword phrases. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna search by a keyword and let's just try on this one, let's try uh, maybe rental. Sometimes that pulls up some rental properties that are for sale, which could be distressed or motivated sellers. So right now in the greater Grand Rapids area, I found four right here that are listed with agents and then two other. So let's see, for sale by owner, I don't know what this one is, that's an ad. Here's a for sale by owner. So usually I'll play around and look at some of these. I like to go after the for sale by owners. But just looking real quickly here, this very first one here is for 105,000. I think I'm gonna take a look at this one here. It's uh, been on Zillow for seven days. And let's read the description. First thing I like to do is look for indicators of distress in the description. So it says three bedroom home close to Medical Mile in the Bel Belknap Lookout neighborhood. I don't know what that means because I don't really know the Grand Rapids market that well. This property has been a rental with good income history, new windows in 2019, large upper level master bedroom, remodeled full bathroom with tile shower. Home does need some updating to really shine. Okay, so that's an indicator there that there's some work that needs done. Third bedroom is small but functional, has rental certification until 121.23. Great opportunity for an investor or someone looking for a value priced owner occupant home. And there's the real estate agent and phone number. So now let's take a quick look at the pictures. Outside looks pretty good. It's a vinyl siding, no garage. You see here, there's a shed, but no garage. Could use some cleaning up, like some power washing. That looks like a stone foundation, so I doubt this is on a basement. Um, we'll find out in a minute. Roof looks good. It said the windows were new. And look, here's new carpet. Um, you know, it probably could use a paint, but it looks okay. This is a, like a laminate flooring. Cabinets are in rough shape. Look, their doors are kind of falling off. Appliances are ancient. So old kitchen, counters look okay, but old kitchen. Uh, big though, look how big and open that is. This is, that must be that front porch. So they, it's got new carpet though. Okay, here's a little bathroom. There's a stand up washer dryer in that bathroom. There's that tile shower I talked about and then this is that upper level, so you come up the stairs and you've got this big open, you know, this would be the master, I guess, bungalow. Uh, this must be that other, like part of that porch over here, one of these porches. And that's it we have for picture. So pretty clean house. I mean, at this price point, I'm gonna say, you know, we probably could, I, I would probably just do some paint. It's only 935 feet. I would do new kitchen counters, countertops and appliances. I could probably get all that done on a little house like this for around 10 grand. That feels like the right number. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go over to my deal analyzer. 
and I'm gonna plug some numbers in. Now, this is a deal analyzer tool that I built. It's really awesome because you just plug numbers in and it'll do all the calculations for you. And I'll give this to you for free. Just go to mydealanalyzer.com and you can download this for free. So I'm gonna put in right now my square footage, 935. And I don't know yet what our price per square foot is. And I'm gonna put a rehab budget of 10,000. Uh, so that'll get me there. So I'll, I'll come back to this in a minute. Okay, so now going back to my property, what I wanna do is I wanna comp this property. So I'm gonna duplicate this tab. So I have two tabs open. One for my reference to the property and this one I'm gonna comp. So I'm gonna X out this box right here and it's gonna show me kind of like my whole market and we are right there. There's where we are. So I'm gonna try to zoom in a bit and get into the neighborhood. So again, we're right here and you can see major road, couple major roads. So I kind of want to stick in this little area right here. Now, because we're a small house, I'm going to kind of look at sort of all of this. And then I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to switch this to solds. And I'm going to make sure that we are looking at just houses. So I'm going to just click houses here. And under the more tab, we're going to go down here and I'm going to put just the past. Let's go 12 months on this one. And then we're, we're 900 and something feet. So I'm gonna put a max of 1250 and get rid of all the big stuff. And for now, I'm just gonna leave it at that. Now, again, we're right in here, plenty of comps to look at. And I'm just gonna briefly kind of look through some of these. So we got a two bedroom here that sold for 140, a two bedroom here that sold for 150. Here's a 1200 sold for 162, 150. So it's feeling to me like there's one for 175, 148, 139, 135, 165 over here. It's feeling to me like a 150 number is not unrealistic. Like this is kind of a two story like ours. Nice and clean though, and look how nice this one is. But again, that's, that's uh, I don't know if that's real wood floors. It kind of looks like real wood floors. But see an updated kitchen, this is really nice. Now the market is really lacking in inventory right now. So I'm actually really surprised this house is not sold in a nanosecond. I mean, it was, was it seven days? Yeah, seven days on the market. I'm definitely late to the party. See, I like to create these searches. I just did this for our, for our um, show, but let's say I'm working the Grand Rapids market. I would have my searches set up to where the instant this thing comes available, boom, I get notified with an email and I'm on it. I'm, I'm calling, I'm competent, I'm calling it, I'm making my offer because if it's priced right, like I think this is priced really good, then these things are gonna move fast. So, you know, I think this thing could probably get a 150 back end because we're, we're three bedroom, one bath. Let me just go back real quick to the comps. Uh, I'm gonna close out of this one. But all right around our neighborhood, we got 140, 150. This one got 106, so I'm gonna assume that that's a bit distressed. But these things are, I mean, even this one here, it's a one bedroom, one bath, got 135. So this is a nice little neighborhood. This one got 157, 150. So this one here, I pulled this up a second ago. It's about our square footage. Three, one, got 150. No pictures, but it kind of tells us what we can do. So I'm going to go back to my deal analyzer and I'm going to, I'm going to put this thing so that it comes in at, uh, so let's, I'm going to update my price, my uh, price per square foot until I get to 150. Let's just take a look at that. So if I get this thing up to one, right there, 150, 10,000 rehab. And I'm gonna say that a flipper is gonna to wanna to make a quick 20 on this thing. So I'm gonna adjust the, the profit to that. Eight and five, sometimes I'll do nine and six for closing costs and carrying costs. We'll leave it at that. And I mean, that puts me at 99.8. Let's say I want to do a quick wholesale for 10 grand, put my wholesale number in there. So I would need to buy this thing for about 90. And I bet you I could wholesale this thing for almost where they're listed right now. I bet you I could, if I got this for 90, I think I could wholesale it for 105. So my gut's telling me that when I call on this thing, it's going to be, we're going to be late. Like they're going to either have multiple offers or they've already accepted an offer. That's just my gut's telling me that on this one. So I'm gonna call the agent now, and what I'm gonna do here, guys, if you look right here, it's got his name and phone number. If that phone number doesn't work, I'll Google him, but I'll track down this agent because my strategy is to call directly to this listing agent on his listing and offer to let him represent me. I call that the double dip strategy. And I'm gonna show you in a minute how this works, but I'm gonna call this agent, and I'm gonna to try to make an offer for around 90 on this property. 
and see what's going on and if we can get it. All right, let's call them right now. Good afternoon, this is Bill. Yes, hi Bill, this is Jerry Norton. How are you, sir? I'm calling about a listing you have, Clancy Avenue. Yes. Yeah, I'm an investor uh, looking at this possibly as a little flip. The seller uh, accepted, um, there were five offers this last night. The seller accepted an offer this morning. Oh, shoot. All right. I'm late to the party. Unfortunately, I, I uh, yeah, I, just by a few hours, but unfortunately, it's, uh, it's gone. It is. Cash gone. buyer? Yes. Okay. Uh, did it go around ask, over ask? Just curious. You were. Uh, it was a it was a little bit under, but okay. with uh, waiving the um, inspection and um, appraisal, the the seller was willing to take a little bit less to make it tidy, clean, and very quick. It's gotcha. Close hopefully, two weeks. Are they going to keep it for a rental? Because it's probably a good rental, huh? That's the impression I have. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Probably without because it's no basement, no garage, right? Correct. Okay. Yeah, no basement, no garage kind of makes it a good rental and pretty yeah. clean. You got anything else around? Uh, currently, no. Um, I do have a duplex that will be coming due um, middle of next week. Okay. And that's going to be 219. That's a brick side-by-side -side duplex. Can I take a look at, look at it and get you a number already? Uh, no, because there's tenants in it, and I'm waiting for the tenants to move out. No, I outside. I guess I don't mean that. I mean, I'll 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 take the address, look it up, run some numbers. I mean, oh, do you have sure. do you have pictures of it already? I do not, unfortunately. Okay. Um, what kind of condition like is said, it in? Uh, it's you know it's it's in pretty good shape. It's been a it's been a good rental. The seller has had it for about ten years, and uh -huh. it's just looking at. Um, yeah, the market's great, so he's taking advantage of it. All right, what's the address? I'll look it up right now. 2325 and 2327 McKee, M-C-K-E-E. -E. Okay, right there in Grand Rapids? Correct. Okay, and um, what's the tenant situation? Uh, the... One tenant is moving out of state. It was a Section Eight. Um, it was she was actually paying a pretty low rental amount, um, so it's actually kind of beneficial uh, to be able to rent it out easily because there's just such a f so few available. The other tenant is paying eight ninety five a month, and she's been there for a year. Okay, um, so she'll stay in place. Correct. And the other one you said is on their way out. Correct. Yep. She should be uh, out on the 30th. Okay. Um, and then, okay, so they bring in about 850 roughly? Roughly. And then are utilities separated? Um, yes. Okay, so separate, separate electric, gas, water? Uh, water is not. Electric and gases. So is water included in the lease? Yeah, it is, yes. Okay, so water's included. And they're two bedroom? Correct. Okay, so two bedroom. Yeah, I'm looking at it two right now on bath. two bed, one bath. I'm looking at it right now on um, Google Images. So it's a side by side, like ranch style. Correct. Okay, and then do they just Full share basement, that? Um, the access is shared, but each, each basement is private. So you know, the key, each tenant locks their own basement. So they have two, so they have, they each have their own basement and they're separate. Correct. They ran a wall down it or something or how'd they do that? Uh, no, it's, it's always been separated. It's just, there's a single back door and then stairs that go down and then two doors, like, two doors. Okay. And what kind of condition would you say it's in? I mean, is it, is it going to like if to rehab it, to put the new tenant back in, is it going to need some work? Likely no, um, based pretty, pretty on clean. my knowledge. Okay. But that's part of the delay with, with scheduling anything is getting into it, making sure that everything is ready to move as far as um, 
overall condition. There's no reason to believe that it's in bad shape. The tenant's been a great tenant, but yeah, there have been surprises before. And registrations are in place, like city city certs and all that for rental. Correct. Okay, so that's good. Separate gas and electric, waters combined around eight fifty. Two of them. And what was your price again? Two fifteen. Two fifteen is a price. Um, okay. And you're going to list this what day? Uh, it will go on the market uh, Wednesday. And then the seller will look at offers the following Monday. So that's May, what, 3rd? No, 4th or something? Um, let me look. 4, uh, 5th, looks like. Yeah, let's see. The 10th is when they will look yeah. at offers. So, okay, so May 10, um, and will they let you do a pocket listing on this? Like if, if I come in with a price or are they gonna make you list it? They want it listed, they want the maximum they can get for it. I gotcha. Okay, now, um, are you allowed to let me write for you so, so you represent me? Sure. Okay, so you can get, you can get the commission for it? Okay. Well, what if we did this? I'll put some I'll put some numbers together. I'll look at I'll look at what I can do on that 215 list. Are you anticipating it's going to go over? Based on the market here? Yes. Yeah. And would you be open to uh, you and I talking on the 10th and kind of seeing where things are at? Sure. And I'll be give you to. I'll give you you know, maybe I can maybe I can squeak in and get get you something a little better than everything else. Yeah, I'd be more than happy to. Okay, awesome. Well, and it's, you know, and I, it's literally just um, bottom line scenario for, for the seller. Um, he's got several properties and it'll just be, it'll all be about. All about the numbers. Yeah, yeah, all about the numbers. No emotion. Well, good. Well, let me put some, let me put some uh, work on this one. When do you think you'll have pictures I could see, like the inside? I am hoping, um, I'm hoping on Saturday, uh, because okay. the minute the tenant is out, I'm going to go try to check it out and make sure just what the overall condition is. So, um, that is my goal at least is to have photos on Saturday. Okay. And let's do this right. Let's do this so on the 10th. Let's just, you and I touch base again. Let's see where you're at. I'll have, um, if I could just see your pictures when you get them, I'm, are you going to put them on the listing or no? Yeah, um, it'll be part of the listing. Okay, so then I'll see them when you go live. But then let's touch base on the 10th and see if I can come in and, and get something done with you. Okay. I am cash. I can give you proof of funds and all that. So, yeah, let's see if we can get something done. All right. And I'm sorry, I should have written it down. Yeah, Jerry. Jerry. Yep. I'm from uh, Metro Detroit area. I figured from the phone number. but 248, yeah. <laughs> Um, all right, Jerry. Okay, and give me give, give me a call. Anything else you get? It's sparse out there, so relationships you know. relationships are important. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. I'm happy to let you know. Okay. Yeah. Thanks awesome. So much. And you go by Bill. Talk to you. I do. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Bill. We'll talk soon. Thanks. Okay. Thank bye. You. Bye. Okay. Well, you know, sometimes when you get on the phone, things go down a different direction and. This is why I love talking to real estate agents. It's one of the main reasons why I go after on-market properties because real estate agents are a great source of leads. And if they're active and they're busy and they're working their market, they're going to come in contact with other distressed properties. And here we go, where we, I called on one property and I asked that simple question, hey, do you have anything else coming up or, or for sale? And sure enough, here in a week or so, he's got this duplex. So we're gonna kind of like switch gears all together here. I'm actually not even, now that I think about it, I'm not even gonna analyze this deal. I don't really care. And the reason why is I hope you caught what I did there. This seller who's very savvy, they're not gonna entertain an offer. Even if I come in right now with an offer of 220, he's asking 215 or that's gonna be the list price. Whatever number I come in, they're not gonna take it. He's gonna let it sit for a good five, six days on market He's this agent's instructed to tell all interested parties, hey, highest and best, highest and best. It's going to come out for sale on Wednesday. Highest and best is due Monday. Give us your best number. He said right on the phone, 
This guy's non-emotional. I love that. That's how I like to look at real estate. And so, but I asked the agent, hey, can I have last shot? Can I have last shot? That makes no sense for me right now to come in here and spend time and run numbers and all of that just to find out that someone else is going to come in, you know, $1,000 more or whatever. I'd rather wait, see if I can get last shot. If that last shot number is a deal, then I'll, I'll come in, you know, $1,000 over anybody else and get the deal. So really cool strategy. Not all agents will do that. I'm very fortunate. He, he could have easily said, no, no, just give me your best number and, and I'll throw you in the pot, right? He could have said that, but he didn't. He said, sure, I'll let you have last look. And do you know why he said that? Because I'm offering to let him write the offer for me and represent me on the buyer side, which means he's going to get the full commission for the listing and the full commission on the buyer side. I'm essentially doubling his commission on this transaction if he goes with me. I call that the double dip strategy, guys. I got a breakdown of that, scripts, everything uh, for how to do that and even how to overcome objections. I'll put the link to that in the description below. Um, also, earlier you saw me working on the deal analyzer. If you want that deal analyzer tool for free as well, I'll give that to you. Just go to, my, I think it's mydealanalyzer.com and you can download a, a, free, a free version of that. It, uh, it's got all the calculator built into it, so it's really cool. So don't forget to get that as well. And guys, I'm always looking for good deals. If you find a good deal, if you follow any of these strategies I do, watch these all of these Watch Me Wholesale shows that we do. I think we're on, I don't know, 30 episodes or something at, at this point. And you get a deal, you land a good deal following any of my strategies or any other strategies, you get a good deal. I will buy that deal from you. I'll pay you a, a $10,000 finder fee. I'll step in, buy the deal. You'll get paid out right away. Um, if you want to learn more about how to be a finder for me, I've got a like a 45-minute training all about it, all the details. Just go to my10kcheck.com to register for that training and learn how to be a finder for me. And guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe. This is the number one channel on YouTube for all things wholesaling and flipping. And I'll see you on the next video.